the future champions novices chase is next and uh, another small field for this just five so how many will we get round this time? And it's two and a half miles again. It's just grade two this time. And then novices and hip to be squares at the top for Joshua Sutherland, Fergus Falls, Darren Thompson, Kalani Flip, David Robertson rooting for you, David Hooley, and Wild Nick for Craig Allen. Look at those form figures. You'll see all of them except the bottom one have failed to complete at least once in the last half dozen races or so. They're away and racing. Let's hope we get more than one finisher this time. It's almost... The same as last time, isn't it? A slightly, slightly different trainer combination, but over the first they go, and they're all safely over the first this time, with Hip to be square in the lead from Rooting for You in the purple jacket second, and then Wild Neat as they get to the second. And they're all safely over that. Fergus Falls is in fourth, and then Kyle Arney Flip at the back. With Hip to be square. Who's the third in the lead? I really do like the name of that horse. I think it's Pretty good, hip to be square, and Wild Neat is second, rooting for you third, then Kyle Arney flip, and then Fergus falls, which I can't quite understand the thinking of Darren Thompson calling a potential chaser Fergus falls, but I'm sure he'll tell us why one day, maybe, most of his horses have got a name for a reason, and hip to be square is in the lead, over fence number four, on Wild Neat rooting for you, Kyle Arney flip, and then Fergus falls. This was a part of the season where it starts to get a little bit sad for saddos like me that we're commentating every week. We get to say these names every week, and then we're thinking, well, next week's probably going to be the last time we ever say them because the majority of the horses don't come back, do they, for the next season? You just get used to some of them. Some of them you really enjoy commentating on because of the way they race or the way their name sort of rolls off the tongue, and others. Are a bit of a menace because they're tongue twisters and don't flow very easily. I get over number seven, but you do get attached to them. I'm sure as Stu and Leon will tell you, you used to saying something and then it disappears and you never see it again. But it's hip to be square in the lead from Kyle Arney flipping second. Wild Neat is in third, and then Fergus falls four and rooting for you five. So that was a public service announcement on behalf of bringing horses back next season. And hip to be square is the leader. From Kailani flip second, and Wild Neat third, Fergus falls fourth, and Rooting for You fifth. So, proper Indian firemen as they make their way downhill and swing left handed. Hip to be square, Kailani flip, Wild Neat Fergus falls, and then Rooting for You at the back. The next they go. They're all jumping well so far. These novices, they race down towards the final mile. And hip to be square. It's over that one nicely. They all jumped it well again. Kyle Arney flips second. Fergus falls third. Wild Neat fourth. And rooting for you. Just a little bit detached at the back, but there's still the best part of a mile to go. And hip to be square. Racing downhill over that ditch in the lead. Slow jump by Fergus falls. Wild Neat still looks to be going best of all on the outside. Kyle Arney Flip on the rail is fourth. And Rooting for has got a lot of work to do as they get over number 11. Which they're all safely over. And hip to be square. From Wild Neat. And then Fergus falls. Kyle Arney Flip. And Rooting for you over the 12th. Oh, he's gone this time. Kyle Arney Flip really hit that hard and didn't have any chance of... Reef or regaining his feet, he went up in the air, did a, did almost did a flip, didn't he? Kyle Arney flip. Hopefully he'll be okay to race again next week. And hip to be square in the lead from Wild Neat, who's now just been given the hurry up. Fergus Falls creeping up on that one's inside and rooting for you. He's getting ever closer. And we've seen plenty of David Hooley horses come from behind this week. Over the next we go then. And it's hip to be square. He's kicked on again now and opened up by four. Hip to be square then. He's got three to jump. Hip to be square in the lead from Wild Neat, who's got going again in second. Over to third last and a mistake by hip to be square has allowed Wild Neat to jump through into the lead. Fergus Falls is still going well in third. It's surely between these three. 
as they race down towards the final two fences over the second last they go and it's Wild Neat hip to be square and Fergus falls almost three and a line racing towards the final fence then now Wild Neat's in the lead it's all going to come down to the jump Wild Neat's in the lead Fergus falls closest to us over it they go better jump on the inside by hip to be square but Wild Neat's holding him at the moment Wild Neat holding on as they race inside the final half and on the Wild Neat looks like he's got enough in hand to take it Wild Neat's going to take it close for second hip to be square and Fergus falls big gap back to rooting for you who was fourth and only the four finishers and Greg Allen takes it on his own this time with a win for Wild Neat who was the only one of the field that hadn't fallen recently so probably a good bet Wild Neat takes it for Craig Allen Fergus falls for Dan Thompson second hip to be square Joshua Sutherland third and rooting for you for David Hooley was fourth